you know, we talked about Apple, we talked about Sony, we talked about how music industry has changed, how photography has changed. Can we talk a little bit about global leaders in design? You know, many times when we talk of design, people assume Louis Vuitton, Cartier. Okay. Yes. The, Who are the global leaders in design? Well, again, design is many things. So in the fashion area, there's the Cartier and the Louis Vuitton, as you say. But uh, you can also look at, um, at the design of software mm -hmm. and look at the, the way Uber uses design. Mm -hmm. Uber isn't driven by new technology. It's using existing technology relatively old technology mm -hmm. uh, to create a new service uh, that um, makes use of the empty space in cars that used to be lost value. Design helped them unlock that value. Unlock that value. What Uber is really in the business of is not software or technology. They're in the business of trust. They, mm -hmm. they help people who want rides trust people who aren't associated with a company or, or a particular service, mm -hmm. uh, gives them trust on using that product. It's an interesting way of looking at it because then the same trust model can be applied to many things. Yes, exactly. Airbnb is a trust yeah. company. Right, right. Uh, do I trust this person coming into my home? Do I trust going into this person's home? Kickstarter is another example of trust. They, they, they get you to give money to a innovation that you don't take ownership in mm -hmm. and you trust you're going to get something back. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And also I think the other side of this is that you are really creating a distributed model. Yes. It, in 1937, a professor at the University of Chicago, Chicago named Ron Coase wrote a paper that eventually led to him getting the Nobel Prize. Yeah. It was on the nature of the firm. He said, why do we have companies? People do work, companies don't do work. And his point was that the reason we have big companies is to reduce the transaction cost, to reduce the friction between people who do things together. Got a Nobel Prize. Um, there are ways of establishing trust and reducing the friction between people now that didn't exist in 1937. Hmm. And Uber and Airbnb and Kickstarter are all examples of that. This could be a major challenge to big companies. Yeah, that's right. Uh, it's not clear why we need big companies anymore unless they're in perhaps the infrastructure business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but over a period of time, we have only built big companies, big banks, you yes. know, big manufacturers, big distributors. You and know? and the, in the age of economy of scale, that made so much sense. But now it makes less sense, particularly because when you get that big, you start to avoid risk and you start to avoid experimenting with new things. Yes. And uh, smaller companies have less to lose. They are less worried about risk and they're willing to be more experimental and are more likely to produce new things. Yeah, you and I have talked about the fact that innovation always takes place at the edge. Yes. More so than at the core. Yes. Um, you know, senior execs often want breakthrough innovation, but they want it delivered six months from now on, on time and on budget. Yeah. And you can't have both. Exactly. Uh, so this, it, it's interesting, it brings in the whole nature of risk. They're frightened of the risk of a product failing, but it's risky to spend too much time avoiding that type of risk because your risk may be not doing things that lead to growth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in your product portfolio, you need things that are individually riskier, but some number of them will lead to new growth. But going back to my original question, can we really say that these are the global leaders in design? They're, they're leaders in providing examples, but okay. very few companies um, actually uh, operate worldwide uh, and use design as the leader in that. Um, but Apple could be one. Apple is one. What happened to Sony? Sony Sony fell into the trap that so many companies do. Mm -hmm. They were uh, so enamored with their own success 
uh, and they fail to integrate hardware and software, mm. and they um, they lost the uh, the edge. They seem to be coming back now with uh, small cameras, mm -hmm. uh, but they have a long way to go. Mm -hmm. At one time, we all looked to Japanese for a lot of good consumer products, mainly in maybe 70s, 80s. Mm -hmm. That has changed substantially in the last 20 years, I believe. Yes, one of the things that's happened is with the advent of Flextronics and other uh, um, f huge flexible manufacturing processes that mm -hmm. are used as outsourcing of factories, it lets all sorts of small companies create hit products. You look at Jawbone or look mm -hmm. at the um, all the products people wear to monitor their body mm -hmm. um, performance. Mm -hmm. uh, those are all small companies using the web and outsourcing manufacturing as their platform. Mm 